I was recently asked uh, about making Spanish rice. So I'm gonna make a quick little video of how I do that. So first thing I'm going to do is turn my pot on. Got it on high for right now just to get it really good and warm. I've got a lid over there. You always use a pot with a lid when you're making Spanish rice. This is olive oil. I'm going to coat up the bottom real good with some olive oil. Um, next thing I'm going to do is add my rice in. I'm just going to make one cup. So I'm going to, oh, it doesn't fit. All right. Hmm. Where am I going to put you? I'm going to put this like that. Maybe you can see. I don't know. Alright, I'm going to uh, get some rice out of here. You always do uh, one part rice to two cups water. Or so one part rice to one to two parts water. So if I'm doing one cup of rice, I'm going to do uh, two cups of water. I'm also going to throw in these onions, these big pieces of onions that I chopped up because I don't like I don't like little tiny bits of onions in my rice. I want to be able to pull them out. If you like onions and want big chops of onions, what you're watching for right now is the rice to start to turn white and it'll get a little red. See how these ones that I'm kind of pointing at are kind of turning white. And you can see some are still um, translucent and some are see-through. Anyway, back to the onions. If you like onions uh, a lot, you can dice them up really small. I don't, but I like the flavor of them. Alright, well that is doing that a little. I'm going to leave that for just a second. And I don't have to... COVID-19 time and I'm out of tomato sauce and I'm out of tomato paste and I don't want to run out to the store so I'm going to pop open this here um, maybe I'm going to do this I'm going to let you look at I don't know what you're seeing right now but pop that open real quick I'm going to drain that out just a little bit. And instead of tomato sauce or tomato paste, I'm going to throw a little bit of this in there um, while it's frying up and it'll kind of mash it down a little. Excuse my messy kitchen. Um, oh, look at that. Um, get a little bit brown. Definitely what you want to have My grandma taught me how to make rice. She actually taught me how to make rice and fideo and beans and all that yummy stuff. Um, and I learned when I was probably about 13, I'm going to say, maybe 12, I don't know. Okay, look at the rice now. See how it's got like... It's none of it is okay. Oh, that's getting hot. None of it is opaque anymore, and it's starting to get a little bit brown. You also have uh, the smell in here is pretty nice. Okay, so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to season it with some Lari's good old Lari seasoning salts, what I always use. Oh, not that side. I want this side. And I don't know how much I'm using. I'm just sprinkling it all. 
on until I think it's good. All right, because that's what to do. And then I'm gonna pour a little bit of the tomatoes in there. Not ideal. Normally, I would put a little bit of tomato sauce or tomato paste in there to get it that nice orangey color. See, yeah, I'll be starting to turn kind of orangey. Yeah, it's up a bit. Okay. All right, now it's time for that two parts water. I've got a two cup thing here in a spoon. I used to use Nor. Um, I'm going to turn you over again. I don't know what you're seeing now. I used to use Nor, but Nor has wheat in it. So, and I'm um, celiac. So I had to, uh, I just got like, let me show you here. I just got a spoonful of uh, the Bevin and Bouillon, and I'm just going to mix that into here. Now, if I wanted uh, to add vegetables to this, like peas or corn, um, peas is normally what people put. Some people put peas in corn. Sometimes they'll throw like a veg medley in there or something. Now would be the time to do it. But I, what I wanted to do was mix that all in to where there's no more, um, like, it's all mixed into the water, so the bouillon is now inside of it. Uh, if you're using the little cubes of nor, they take breaking up. Um, so now we're gonna let this get to a nice good boil. It does it pretty fast because it's on high and it's pretty hot. And that, that's about good. And we're gonna lower this down to low. See, very small flame. And we put the lid on. And then I'm going to leave that for uh, 15 minutes. And when that's done, um, we'll come back and take a look at it. Hush. Okay. So it is now time to open up the rice. And you can see it's all nice and yummy and cooked and delicious. Normally it wouldn't have those chunks of tomato in it, but that's what happens when you uh, have to use that. Um, you see I made some, some beans and some meat to go with it. And we're putting hot sauce and sour cream and cheese on it. And that's it.